we will continue the topic. Now we will display the values at the respective locations. Firstly, we will print the value of order number. How to print the value? We know this is our second window and inside the second window, we have the second text. First row, second text. First row, second column. So I will go to the second window. Here I will display the value. From the internal table, from the internal table, you move the data to the work area. It means in the work area, we have the value of order number, order date, payment mode, total amount and currency. In the program, you are doing the same thing. Write work area hyphen order number, work area hyphen order date. Same thing we will do here. I will go to the text. I will go to the text editor. I will go to change editor. In the program, you are writing the right statement. Now here, rather than writing the right statement, we will write ampersand. LS underscore data hyphen O number and I will write ampersand. So in the smart form, if someone asks you, which operator is used to print the values? Answer is ampersand. In the program, you are using write statement. Here we will use ampersand to display the values. Now I will go to other things. I will go to now fourth window. This is our fourth window. And I will go to first row, second column to display the value of order date. Fourth window, first row, second column, value of order date, editor. Go to change editor. I will write ampersand ls data hyphen order date. Now, I will go to first row, fourth column, where I will print the value of payment mode. I will go to text editor, ampersand ls underscore data hyphen payment mode. Now, I will go to second row, second column, to print the value of total amount, text editor, go to change editor. I will write work area hyphen total amount. Now I will go to last thing, second row, fourth column to print the value of currency. LS underscore data hyphen currency. And I will save this. Now I will go to item data. I will display the item data. You know main area is used to display the item data. Main area is used because we already covered that we created the table inside the sixth window and inside the main area of the table, we will display the values. And if you see from the internal table, you are passing the data to the work area, second internal table to second work area. So I will go to first text editor, go to 
change editor and I will write ls underscore data hyphen ls data one sorry second work area order item number and in the second text we will display the item cost ls underscore data one hyphen item cost i will go to back button and now i will check the whole syntax of the smartphone i am getting these two warnings i can ignore these warnings or if you want to remove these warnings also it is saying ls data one order item number and item cost has no defined value so if you want to remove these warnings also just take it as a output just take it as a output because we are using this work area to display the item values so just write now you can see there is no warnings also you can ignore the warnings or if you want to ignore the if you want to remove the warnings just take your second work area also as a output because you are using this work area now i will activate the smartphone and you can see my smartphone is in the active status so we did the logic part also in this particular smartphone now what we will do now i will go for total part i will make some of the total i will make some of the item cost it is very very easy in smartphone to make some firstly what i will do i will declare one variable in the global data tab which will make some suppose i am saying lv underscore total type i will declare one data element which will make some i will declare some data element of amount type suppose i will choose this it is 7 comma the length is 7 comma So I declared one variable which will make sum, which will be used to make the sum. Now, how to make sum? In the table itself, we have a feature. I will make use of this calculation tab to make sum of the amount to make some of the item cost item cost how i will choose the operation as total because i want to make some now your item cost is going to this work area one by one suppose if i will go for the example Suppose I have order item number 10 and item cost 100. Order item number 20, item cost 200. Order item number 30, item cost 300. So one by one, we are passing the record to the work area. It means what is work area item cost at the first time? 100. Second time, it is 200. Third time, it is 300. So what we are doing, what is our, what is our field name for which field we are making sum? It is work area hyphen item cost and in which variable you are storing the sum, you declare the variable lb underscore total. It means how this logic will work. Firstly, LV underscore total will be 100. 
next time lv underscore total will be 100 and then when 200 will come 200 plus 100 will be 300 so next time lv underscore total is already 300 so whenever 300 will again come it will become 600 so lv underscore total will be 600 and we will choose that time after loop means once the loop will finish we will make some now we covered that we will display the total in the footer so i will go to the footer i will go to first text where i will only only write hard coded total okay now in the second text i will display the variable lv underscore total so i will write m percent lv underscore total i will go to back button i will save this i'll check the syntax it is saying lv underscore total has no defined value it is what it is a warning you can ignore if you still want to remove this warning go to global definition go to initialization and take this also as a output because you are using in the smartphone i'll check the syntax and activate the smartphone so now everything done related to logic part related to labeling part related to total part in the next video we will check the output of this smartphone that's it in this video thank you